What if in the next two weeks, a thousand people across the, the Atlanta metro area were invited into a disciple's home? What could God do with that? I want you to stop and think, how has this last year changed your view of your home? How has COVID shifted the way you use your house? You know, the reality was for several months or maybe a lot longer than that, all of us had to shut down. We had to close down for safety. I mean, we had to do that. But now so many of us have come out and we're, we're, we're seeing each other again. We're meeting up. We're here at church. Amen. Like we're coming out of COVID, yet our homes are still shut down. Too many of us have landed in a rut of non-hospitality. Too, too many of us don't think about our homes any differently than the non-Christian. It's still just a place of retreat for us. When was the last time you had your neighbor, like your neighbor, neighbor. Not like, oh, your neighbor's anyone that is in need. No, like your neighbor, neighbor, like the literal definition of loving your neighbor. When was the last time you had your neighbor in your house? Or a coworker? Or the person you see at the gym every day? I know we're all worried about COVID, but the reality is so many of us are back to normal. Have you started using your house to express the love of God again? We have to come out. COVID does not want us to open up our homes for hospitality anymore. He wants to, COVID wants to stop us. COVID wants to ruin us from practicing this incredible practice of Jesus. But we won't let COVID stop us. Amen, church? We will open up our homes again. What if, just dream for a second, what if in the next two weeks a thousand people across the, the Atlanta metro area were invited into a disciple's home. What could God do with that? I call you to do this. I call you as your evangelist. Open your home again for the lost. Eat and drink with sinners like Jesus did. Amen.